3D force system, let first introduce what is vector. As vector is there, we will use the definition of vector as vector is always equals to scalar. So for this, for this, what is the vector? Is it AB bar equal to coordinate of B minus coordinate of A, last point minus initial point. Then it is x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1, x scalar quantity multiplied by unit vector along x direction i plus y2 minus y1 scalar multiplied by unit vector along y direction j plus z2 minus z1 scalar multiplied by unit vector along z direction is k. So, the ij k, ij k, they are called as unit vectors along x axis, y axis and z axis. The mod of a b is also called as magnitude is given by under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square and vector upon mod of vector is called as unit vector a b bar upon mod of a b later on you put for a b and a, a b bar and solve this now this one is a standard formula used to find out distance between the two points in the space x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 this is the one definition of unit vector now this is going along this direction so it was n cap a b the direction of this vector and direction of a b bar vector they are same only thing that a b bar has different magnitude and what is the magnitude of unit vector a b is 1 that is the only difference otherwise they are same so we have two point in the space let this point equals to 2 3 1 and let us say this point equal to 5, 4, 0. And from A to B, we have a force passing from A to B having magnitude equal to what? 100 Newton. So are we able to write down the force vector? So we can very well write down the force vector. As the definition indicates, force vector is equal to scalar that equal to what? F multiplied by unit vector the force is directed in this way. What is the unit vector along this one? Is same as n cap a b of force. Is it 100? What is the value of n cap a b? Is it a b bar upon mod of a b bar? Is equals to 100. What is a b? a b is b minus a. So, you have to first start with this 5 minus 2. So, you have to directly write down 3i. 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 plus j. 0 minus 1 minus k divided by square. 3 square is 9. Plus 1 square is 1. Minus 1 square is 1. So, this one is 100 by root 11 into bracket 3i plus j minus k. Got it? So, this is the first way to write down unit vector, this one. This is how you can write force vector if you are given the force in what? Newton. Is a unit of 100 is Newton? 
is the unit of this coordinate is also meters is the distance is also meter that is the unit of 100 is what newton all coordinate are meter as 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter 5 meters and is the distance is also meter 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 cancel so what unit of this force is same as newton so this is newton take care here is the distance between a and b is given by this formula d is the distance between a and b is given by this formula that is mod of ab bar and is this formula is same as this under root is it one and same so is the distance between these two points is obtained by x2 minus x1 square which is equals to what 5 minus 2 square that is what 3 square plus y2 minus y1 4 minus 3 is what 1 square plus another term is what z2 minus z1 square so does it means that distance between a and b is root 11 is it correct and is the force from this point is 100 so is the unit of this quantity that is 100 divided by root 11 is it nothing but the newton oh this one is what 100 11 is it a unit is newton per meter correct now this newton per meter is basically represented by the symbol fm fm is called as force multiplier show this directed from a to b with the same previous coordinate by force multiplier fm same equation na huh? f bar equals to now this quantity is this quantity is force divided by mod of ab am i correct is it force divided by what mod of ab this quantity 100 divided by root 11 then is this quantity is simply ab bar am i correct is this quantity simply ab bar this quantity is what f divided by mod of ab and this is what our formula becomes f bar equals to fm multiplied by ab bar fm multiplied by ab bar this is my second formula how to write the force into force vector so you just, if you have a force in uh, 100 you multiplied by what unit vector and if you have a force in force multiplier just multiplied by vector don't multiplied by unit vector only multiplied by vector so definition number 1 definition number 2 definition number dimensional force system in which a force is inclined f bar at an angle of theta x with respect to x axis and angle of theta y with respect to y axis this force vector in two dimensional is written as <coughs> f x i f y j scalar multiplied by unit vector scalar multiplied by unit vector and you are very much familiar with 2d system always have this component equal to what fx and what is this component equal to fy and this force vector is this but if you are want to write down vector it should be multiplied by what i and this should be multiplied by what j okay the magnitude of this force vector is mod of f mod of f is as f this one is mod of fx mod of fx is written as same as fx this one is bar this one is also bar this one is mod of fy is same as fy now check this is this angle is theta x this angle is theta x this angle is theta y so is the alternate angle is theta y this one is theta y so is the alternate angle is theta y 
so this angle is what theta y this one is theta so what is cos theta what is cos of theta x theta x is what adjacent what is adjacent fx what is hypotenuse f so what is fx fx is always equals to f into cos of theta x this cos of theta y theta y is adjacent adjacent is what fy divided by hypotenuse is f so what is the value of fy is f into cos of theta y so this is the beauty of vector vector says that there is no sine cos if you want fx you write cos theta x if you want fy write cos theta y and you want to extend it further fz then you write f into cos of theta z that is the simplicity of vector we'll make this term generalized now is fxi plus fyj plus fzk is written as using fx equals to f cos theta x fy is this term plus fz is okay we are not writing cap 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 they are always assumed now from this equation is f is common quantity so what we get is now recall the definition of vector what is the definition of vector vector is defined as scalar or multiplied by unit vector now see the definition is this is a scalar this one is scalar f is scalar e is completely defined as unit vector you now another definition of unit vector n cap is equals to cos theta x times i plus cos theta y times j plus cos theta z times k but what is the magnitude of unit vector what is the magnitude of unit vector is it always one always one is equals to so what is the magnitude of this term ijk term is it same as under root of coefficient of i square that is cos square theta x plus cos square theta y plus cos square theta z now we can square this quantity as well as we can square this quantity is the square of 1 is 1 and is the under root sign can be eliminated so we can we say that the square this and square this get rid of square root sign this one is called as identity identity in three dimensional that you are using in two dimensional cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 now we'll prove this that cos this is same as force is given in newton force is given in newton then f bar is equals to f into unit vector ab the force is directed from a to b and the unit of force is what newton this was given in terms of newton then f bar equal to f into n vector n cap of ab what is it? n cap of ab n cap of ab is simply ab bar upon mod of ab bar directed from a to b so they will always provide you the coordinate of a and b but the force was given in the form of force multiplier if the force was given in the form of force multiplier then f bar equals to fm is it multiplied by n cap or simply ab bar <coughs> simply ab bar unit is always balance and they will not provide you the value of a and b rather than this they will have a coordinate system like this and they say that this have a force which makes an angle of certain angle of theta x with y axis and certain angle of theta y with y axis and certain angle of theta z 
with z axis so they will provide you either theta x theta y then are we able to calculate theta z from the identity term if they give it then we'll skip the step otherwise we'll use this equation and they will also provide you the value of f so when they provide one value of f and two value of force then we should use this definition of vector that is f bar equals to what cos theta x term so this time we have to use f bar equals to f into unit vector when theta x theta y are given are cos of theta x i plus cos of theta y j plus cos of theta z k so this term n cap a b is same as this term unit vector so unit vector you can write down either by this way or you can write down by this way so there are two different ways to write unit vector given the end points you can use this definition and if you are given the angles you can use this definition where all the axes are passing that one is origin normally the negative axis is shown by dotted line normally change the name x can be here or x can be here or x can be here anywhere it doesn't matter whatever the point you have to write down you have to always write down the point as p x comma y comma z first position for x second for y third for z all the time to locate the coordinate of point p you have to travel from point o suppose you are here at this point and if distance equals to 8 then you always start from origin and you come to this point so are you following the positive of x axis you have followed the positive of x axis so what is the coordinate of this point x value is what 8 and you have reached the point so what is the value <coughs> what is the value of y 0 what is the value of z 0 so coordinate is what 8 comma 0 comma 0 if you are at this point and this point is b and this distance is 6 now to come to this direction you have to travel along positive of z or negative of z negative of z so you have to travel negative of z now we have reached this point but do you have travel any x distance no do you have travel any y distance no but do you travel along z axis and is it negative of 6 why negative of 6 because you are on minus z side method is clear next suppose this distance is 2 this one is 3 and this one is 4 let's see now have a patience you start from o okay so you start from o i will write here is this traveling along x axis or y axis but is it traveling along x axis positive or x axis negative negative so first coordinate is minus of 2 is this traveling